I'm going to do this video under the Fair Use Act. Act. So now all the the false prophets are trying to get on board. The the Trump prophets are trying to get on board with this thing that they're wanting you to take. And I want to remind you that Donald Trump himself appeared on Fox News many months ago and was being interviewed by Maria Bartiromo on Fox News where he proudly said that he was the father of the vaccine. <clears throat> now, of all statements he could have made relating to that, you need to consider that he said that he is the father. I want you to ponder that, that he is the father of the vaccine. And here's one of his latest statements that he made at one of his rallies uh, in regards to this. About the vaccine, I came up with the vaccine. They said it would take three to five years. Going to save the world. I recommend you take it, but I... So there it is. He proudly again admits that he came up with the vaccine and is recommending that you take it. So you understand the false Trump prophets can't have their cake and eat it too. They have to make a choice of, of what they're going to stand for because you have to realize that many of the Trump worshipers who believe that Trump was the savior, they didn't accept that he was the root of the problem. Realize that. But remember what all the other ones were saying too. I want to remind you of this and see that all of them's uh, opinions changed over time. They're all doing the same thing. It was all what you what's called political theater. All you watch with Donald Trump and the other Democrats, it was all political theater. Let's see what Kamala Harris was saying before the election. I'm trying to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should take, that we should take it, I'm not taking it. Hey, NBC. Administration approved. So see that all of these ones, you know, they, and realize this too. Donald Trump's guy was Fauci. And Biden didn't get rid of Fauci when he came into office. He kept Dr. Fauci. They kept and used the same person. And they're also spinning the same narrative. But more importantly, don't forget that Donald Trump proudly admits that he came up with it. And not only that, the very telling, awkward, but telling statement he made on Fox News while being interviewed by Marie Bartiromo, where he stated that he is the father of the vaccine. Very, very important to understand his language, the language that he used when he was proudly saying that he is the father in his blasphemous way. So remember who it came from, where it came from. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. Trump prophets and Trump worshipers, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. Because that will be, if they have to do it, they will bring him back in so they can get all the Trump worshipers because they will listen to him. They know that, uh, well, you can have Trump back if you accept, allow the snake to bite you. We'll let you have Trump back if you allow the snake to bite you. See that it's all political theater. And if Donald Trump wasn't actually part of the establishment, if he was truly against the establishment, there would have been the, the ones that he said he was going to have arrested would have been arrested and I've done proven that was a big joke, more political theater. But not only that, he would have ended up exactly like John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. 
they assassinate the establishment assassinates presidents who are not in the establishment you don't need one of these leaders in psalms Chapter 146, verse 3 clearly states, Do not put your faith in a leader because he cannot save. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, in the Word of God, the Holy Bible. Be sure to stay in the Word. God bless.